solo es tú solo es así, así. Uh -huh. y tú sabes uh -huh. que el Señor te está hablando yes, tú sabes que Dios no tiene que quitar Amén. te puede hablar con voz con voz suavecita Amén. voz audible calladito y tus orejas hacen así when the Lord speaks he don't have to yell he don't talk to you with a soft voice and when he speaks to you with a soft voice you know that's the Lord because your ears the Holy Ghost open your ears and your heart just perceives this is God no te confunde cuando Dios habla. Dios no trae confusión cuando habla. Amen. Amen. Dios cuando habla no trae confusión. When God speaks, there's no confusion. Because the Holy Ghost will not bring confusion to our hearts or to our soul or to our mind. So Jesus said these words. My sheep hear my voice. But they will not hear him to the voice of a stranger, but rather they will flee from that voice. Yes, no oirán la voz del extranjero, sino que oirán del extranjero. And who is the stranger? The devil himself. Amen. El extranjero es el diablo. La voz de Dios se conoce porque cuando tenemos la unción de Dios, el Espíritu Santo nos deja escuchar. Esa voz y la entendemos. We understand the voice because we have the Holy Ghost in us. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Dijo Jesús, yo soy el buen pastor. Yo soy el buen pastor. When he speaks, he speaks in a way for us to understand. Él habla de una manera para que entendamos. Why? Because his job is to train us, to teach us, to lead us. Amen? Amen. To lead us to the job that he called us to do. Amen. So we could do it in our greatest capacity. Yes. Why does he lead us? He leads us, he teaches us to, with the point that we grow in the capacity of understanding and they're able to do the job that he called us to do. This is not an easy job. The same way that pastoral job is not easy, it's not easy being a Christian. No es fácil ser un cristiano. No es fácil ser creyente y ser un creyente de verdad. Un creyente 100%. It's not easy being a 100% Christian. But you know what? Let me tell you something. It might not be easy, but it's possible with the help of the living God. Submit to them. Submit a Amen. Santo, tú eres Señor. I love that word, submit. I remember when I started, people, the pastors, brothers would call me to preach. And I would come to my pastor and say, they invited me to preach. Can I go? And he was saying, I'm sorry, uh, Brother Lou, but I need you here. And I would be angry inside and say, What? I don't understand. And a mí me invitaban a predicar. Yo iba a mi pastor y le decía, Pastor, me invitaron a predicar, puedo ir. Y el pastor me decía, oh, Perdón, hermano Luis, pero te necesito aquí. Y yo me, me empobonaba. Y decía, Entre mí, pero ¿cómo es esto? Yo no sé para qué me llamó el Señor a predicar si el pastor no me deja salir. Why God called me to preach if the pastor don't let me go? And that I'll go and I'll get on my knees and I'll start praying, Lord, they invited me to preach, but your servant said no. And the Lord would say, Submission. Amen. Submission. Submitting is part of the training. Decía el Señor, somet, someterte es parte de tu training. Amen. De tu enseñanza. And then I would say, okay, Lord, but I don't understand. Then why do you call me to preach? If they're going to 
tell me no. And I will try to understand it. And the same old thing again. Submission. Y decía, ¿por qué entonces me llamaste a predicar si no me vas a dejar salir a predicar? Aprende a someterte. Ok, that's what the word says. I will say to myself, all right, Lord, whatever you're trying to teach me, help me learn, help me learn it really quick, because right now, I am not liking it. <laughs> But you know, you could be, you could be like that when I talk to God, you know, get out of line. And I say, Lord, I don't understand this. I don't like it, but I'll do what you say. Yes. Amen. Yo decía, Señor, aunque no me guste, me voy a someter a lo que diga el pastor, porque yo sé que lo que está sucediendo va a salir para mi bien. Amen. And then it says, for they watch for your soul. Ellos velan por vuestras almas. They watch for your soul. The pastors, the leaders, are watching over your soul. Now I got to add to this. Who's watching over my soul? If the pastor's watching over your soul, who watches over the pastor's soul? The Lord, yes. Us. The chief. Because... The chief, what did, what did Paul say? Pray for me so that the Lord will give me a word with boldness. Yes. That's the church. The church prays for the leader. Dijo Pablo, ore por mí para que Dios me dé el mensaje con poder y de nuevo. The church. So, it's not only the pastor that's leading this church. It's also the flock. Amen. Amen. It's also the flock. Las ovejas junto con el pastor es los que guían la iglesia y la llevan al otro lado. El pastor no es pastor sin oveja. Y las ovejas no pueden ser ovejas sin un pastor. The pastor is not a pastor without the chief. And the chief cannot be the chief without a pastor. Amen. 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 Among the sheep. Now we've got the ministries. Each one of you has to know what is that ministry. What is your ministry, brother man? Amen, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know the ministry, the calling. Because with that calling that God put on you is how the church continues to become more effective. Con el ministerio que Dios ha puesto sobre ti, junto con los dones, unido al pastor, es que la iglesia puede ser unida como un solo hombre. Amén. Aleluya. I'm going to be done here in another three hours. They will give account to God about you. Ellos darán cuenta a Dios por ti. Now, are we all know in God's presence. I'm the pastor. You're the sheep of the Prince of Peace. We have Keith. We got Marisol. We got Dahlia. Marta. Victoria. We have the, uh, the kids. Julie. We all know in God's presence. Oh, Jocelyn. Let's not forget Jocelyn. We all go into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Todos vamos a la presencia de Dios, al pastor y la iglesia. Gloria a Dios. Then we have Ralph. We have Rebecca. Amen. And the Lord, I make believe I'm, I'm God. And you guys are the, the pastor sitting in the front seat. And this is the moment of judgment. We are all going to be judged for the good and the bad things we did in the Lord. Vamos a ser juzgados por todo lo bueno y lo malo que hicimos en el Señor. Amen? Whether they were good or bad, we're going to be judged. And Jehovah God is the pastor here in the front and your other congregation. Brother Rob, can you please stand up? Brother Ralph stands up. 